Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to today's video. So in today's video, I am going to be sharing with you everything that I have for my children's stocking. So I'm going to put it all in just this one video. So I've got three children. Darcy's my daughter. She's my eldest child. She's 10. Then we have Oliver, who's seven, and then Penelope, who is, she'll be 16 months at Christmas. So I'm going to split the video into three. So what you will find if you want to see what one has and not the other, if it, obviously if you don't have a child of that um, gender or age, you can just skip. So I will pop that in the chapters below. But if you want to to see what I have for my children this year in their stocking then please keep watching. Okay now before we get into the video don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and please leave me a comment down below with what are your essentials that you pop in your children's stockings. Um, it's just really helpful for everyone and I love to see what other people pop in their stocking. So I thought we would start off with Darcy's stocking. I'm literally just going to do it in age order um, so just Darcy, Ollie and then Penny. Like I said I'm going to pop in the chapters when one starts and when one ends. So if you do want to skip, you can do that. You'd have to watch the entire video. So they all have exactly the same stocking. Um, I got these off of Etsy a few years ago. I did have to add um, Penny's, Penelope, my youngest ones last year. So if I can find similar or I, if I can link the place where I got them from, I will pop it down below, but I just love them. They look really traditional. Um, and it has their name just here in, I went with the red glitter, you could customise it slightly different. I think they were about £11, but again, I'll pop all the details down below, and I'm just planning on keeping these for years to come. So yeah, you'll see that they've all got exactly the same stocking, and what we do, our tradition is, um, it's how I grew up, it's just on the bed, and they bring their stockings, and they come and open it on our bed in the morning, which is how I love to start Christmas morning. Okay, so what you will find in the stockings that I do for my children, I'll link my previous years below, um, but I tend to just pop in there like essential bits that they need um, rather than filling it with like lots and lots of toys and things like that. So um, I don't know, some people might say this is over the top, but in my opinion, I don't think it is, but you know, each to their own. So this is purely just to give you some ideas. Um, I, obviously none of it is wrapped, so I should be able to tell you how much everything was and where it is from. If um, I can link anything, if I've bought it online, I will do that. There's a few Amazon bits, um, but if not, obviously I'll let you know where you can purchase it from. Okay, so to start with, I always pop some new underwear in there. Um, so I've struggled to get underwear this year. I've said this in my previous vlogs, but I just like playing white for Darcy. So the only place I could get them from was next. I usually get them from Asda or Primark because they do like a big 10 pack, but they've, I've been down multiple times and they've not had it. Um, so I just got this, I think it's a five pack, one, two, three. Yeah, I got this five pack from next. I will link it below. Um, they are a little bit more expensive than places like Primark and Asda. Um, so if you can get the size you need in those places, I highly recommend it because you do get more for your money, but I was a bit stuck this year. So she's got that, um, first of all, and then she does have a couple of little, um, like little bra tops. So I did pick these up from Primark. These are really good value actually. So they did lots of different sizes in the kind of like girls underwear section and they were four pound for two. So I did get her some of those. And then I did get her some cozy socks. Um, so she's also got a set in her Christmas Eve box. So I'll film that video separately to this one. But these were from Primark and I actually want these for myself. Um, you get two pairs in here. I'm, yeah, they were four pounds. Um, I got these from the women's section because she's actually size four. So she does fit in the women's footwear section. But just really lovely neutral colours. And she will love those because she kind of likes wearing them over her like leggings. Um, so that's next. And then I also pop a, a selection box, sorry, in their stocking. So um, Darcy has the Maltesers one. I got this from Asda. I'm pretty sure it was two pounds. Um, I feel like they've gone up this year, but yeah, I picked those up because she likes all of these chocolates. So that will go in there as well. And then moving on, I have also got her a new water bottle. So this was from Tesco. It's actually um, the Mrs. Hinch one, if you can see, we've got the mrs hinch love heart there on the lid now darcy's off to secondary school in september so i just felt like this was a little bit more grown up for her um it is glass but it has this protective rubber sleeve on it um and i just thought the handle is really handy and i actually got this in the cell in the clearance section for two pounds so i just thought that was an absolute bargain so i did pick that up as well 
Um, and then I also got her um, some little cotton rings. I did want the bigger ones, so I may have to switch these out because they kind of go with this little gift that I've got her as well. So I got this from Primark and it's just like a cotton wool storage. Um, and I just thought it would look lovely on her dressing table. I actually got one for myself as well. Um, it says three pounds, but it was actually two pound 50 on my receipt. And where I got this from, the beauty section, so where they have all the makeup, the nails, um, like beauty blenders, that sort of thing, they were all there. And they did have different um, acrylic storage as well, like for makeup drawers. So they had a really good selection. It's very reasonably priced in there. Um, but I just feel like she might need some bigger ones, like the slightly bigger ones, but the only ones I could find are the small ones so I did pick these up as well but if I can see some bigger ones I will pop those in her stocking to go with this okay next up I picked up this nail kit so this was from B&M it was £3.50 um, they did have this in the pink little case and they did have um, like a mint green case as well and you get um, a pair of nail scissors a cuticle trimmer a nail file and some nail clippers so she's actually been getting little bits in her advent calendar i made her like nail varnish um cuticle oil so i just thought this would tie in really nicely with the bits and pieces that she's got and she can obviously pop it in her dressing table so i thought that was really good value and it obviously comes in a really nice case as well and then i also picked this um a gift set up from b&m it was actually in the um, special buys for three pounds so it was meant to be six but it was three and you get in there the kind of like face stone that helps um like massage your face she loves stuff like that i know she's only 10 but she really really loves it um you get the headband and you also get a bag to keep it in so i thought that was a really lovely gift for three pounds um I don't know if it's worth six but I was really happy that it was only three so again they had this in the aisle where they've got all the different like stocking fillers and present ideas so definitely check out B&M because they've got some really lovely stuff this year as well okay then next up I've picked her up just a couple of different pen options so I saw this um cork pen set in B&M it was two pounds um, but I just thought it would look really lovely on her desk and I just want to get her little different bits of stationery because like I said she is going to secondary school in September so that's the first thing and then um when I went to Primark I did see this pen um it's like a stationery set so you do get in here it doesn't actually break down what's in here I don't think no but you do get like um obviously a different selection of pens pencils some highlighters and a tipex um tool and then obviously this huge pencil case so I did pick this up for her and it was £3.50 which I didn't think was too bad at all um so she's obviously got a couple of different pen sets to choose from and I also picked her up a refill for her deodorant so she we all actually use the wild deodorant um so we've got the cartridges um and then I've just got her a refill to go in there so I went with the jasmine and mandarin blossom this smells really lovely um so again this is what I like to pop in their stocking just bit like useful bits and pieces so I will link below the wild website because um i think i have a referral link where you can get a free case um but just double check the description bar if you want to try it it's all completely natural um plastic free it's, it says it's powered by plants um and yeah just nothing no nasties in this and it's completely um 100 vegan so yeah i will link this website below um, I also picked her up a mini Himalayan salt lamp. She's been saying she wants a salt lamp forever. Um, and I just picked this one up because I thought it was really cute. It was only £3.50 and I thought she could pop this on her bedside table. Um, again, this was from B&M um, and it's just down the aisle where they've got like all the stocking fillers. They've got some really, really good finds this year. Um, we've got a pack of neutral scrunchies. So these are smaller than like the typical size scrunchie. They were two pounds um, and you get six in there. So I just thought these are great. It's exactly what she wears in her hair and I know she'll love those. And then when I was in Primark, I did pick up this beauty blender sponge set. You get four in there, it was two pound 50. I actually got myself some and they are amazing. Um, so I picked myself up another set. They are like the softest thing I've like ever felt. By far the softest beauty sponge. Um, and obviously you get the different sizes in there. So yeah, I do highly recommend those. Um, and then you'll see when I do the other stockings, they've all got a sluggy duggy. 
<laughs> I got this from B&M. Um, Darcy spotted the one because I got Penny one first of all. And she said, Mummy, I really want a Sluggy Duggy as well. So I thought you can have one. So they've all got one, but they've all got their own colours. So Darcy's got the purple one. Um, I think these were 2 dollars in B&M and they're down the toy aisle. They've got like a whole different selection of fidget toys. And I also picked her up a pillow spray set. So I actually was gifted this at my baby shower and it is amazing. Um, and all the kids have a spray on their pillow. So I actually picked Darcy up her own little set. Um, I actually got this off of Amazon because it did have money off of it. And I want to say it was about five or six pounds, which is really, really good because this is about 12 pounds, I think. Um, but again, I will, I should be able to link this um, in the description for my purchase history but you actually get what do you get in here you get a duo set so it's a sweet dreams pillow spray so that one's got calming lavender and chamomile essential oils and then you get the breathe well pillow spray so that's obviously if you're a bit bunged up obviously perfect for this time of year and then finally for Darcy's stocking I picked her up this little makeup or kind of like brush wash bag set not set sorry case this was from primark it was six pounds so it's a little bit more expensive um, but it's from the smiley world range and she will love it um so it's actually made from that borg style material can you see there so it's really soft um just lovely we're off to my sister's wedding in Rhodes next year so this will be perfect for her for that and just obviously every day to keep her bits all together so yeah that is everything that's in Darcy's stocking okay so moving on to my son's stocking um so his name is Oliver exactly the same stocking and he is seven so very similar to Darcy's I've tried to pop in there things that he needs so again we've got the selection box I actually got him the same as Darcy just because they enjoy the same chocolate so he's got that um and then he also has some new underwear very similar i couldn't get just plain black boxers anywhere um so i had to get them from next so they were quite expensive to honest they were 16 pounds but i think he will like these if i just show you because they've got the um waistband a bit like this and uh his daddy wears like calvin klein ones and he always says can i have ones like that mummy so i think he'll think that he's obviously got the same as daddy um they did have a bigger pack they had 10 pairs but i only went with the five pair pack um because he's still got like a, a decent amount of underwear i just like to get them like a new pack to see them into the new year so yeah he's got that and then he does also have socks some new socks so this is what i mean about primark so these are from primark 10 pairs for £2.80 so these are the ankle high just plain black socks so he will wear these to school um and if he's not wearing a football kit he'll wear these with whatever he's got on most of the time out of school he's got a football kit on um but i just thought for 10 pairs for £2.80 you absolutely can't go wrong um same with the underwear it's so cheap in there so if you can get what you need in the size you need definitely get it from primark um, I also spotted this set of gloves from B&M. So these were £2 for three pairs. So I thought these would be good for football training, obviously just day-to-day -day wear, because they've got the, um, like what do you call it, the rubbery grip on the inside and in the design of footballs, he's absolutely football obsessed, um, plays football all the time, matches, so I thought that would be really handy for him and £2 is so good for three pairs. So Ollie also has a Sluggy Duggy, <laughs> so he's got the green one, like I said I got these from B&M, I think you can get these in most places because they're kind of like sold with those fidget toys but yeah, I'm not going to lie, I do get quite distracted with it, um, but yeah, Sluggy Duggy. Um, I've also got Ollie a water bottle so again I'll typically pop them in a new water bottle it's really good timing actually this year because I don't know what's happened to them we've lost goodness knows how many water bottles at school I saw this one in Audi actually it was 3 99 and it's a metal one so it'll be good um, for summer keeping the drinks cool um, and it's kind of like is this I was gonna say Avengers then but it's not it's all the different Marvel characters so he will love that because he's into Spider-Man um, and all the other characters um, I also picked up this glass. This is really random, but he's had this glass now three times and it always ends up getting broken. Um, it's not even really thin, so it's just obviously really unlucky that it always needs to be his glass. But I actually got this from Asda. It's £1.80 um, and he absolutely loves it because I think he thinks he's like a big boy with his big boy glass. So I did get him a replacement one of those. So obviously that is going to be on the top of the stocking wrapped 
in like bubble wrap and then wrapping paper to keep it safe. Um, I also picked him up a water bottle. So he's actually been asking for a water bottle because Darcy got one, I think last year. He did have a, a water bottle from a couple of years ago. And if you didn't know, you can actually check um, when your water bottle was made, which I didn't know. Good old TikTok hack. Um, and Ollie's were five years old, so I've just got rid of them because I think they say to keep it for two to three years. So just on the inside, you get like a little circle and it will tell you when it was made and what year it was. So obviously just have a look. And if it's any older than two to three years, you probably need to um, get rid of it because it potentially could leak or burst or, you know. Um, so I did pick him up this one. It's from B&M. It was six pounds. So they've gone up this year because... I got Darcy one last year and it wasn't as expensive as this, but it is the personalised one, so it's gone up on it. So it's just cream. Um, but yeah, he's been asking for a hot water bottle, so perfect. Um, and then I also picked up this slushy maker cup. So this was a little bit of a splurge, I think, for a stocking gift. But when I show you in a moment, he didn't have as much as Darcy in terms of um, money so they it kind of equals itself out so I did get this from Aldi it was 8 99 Darcy had one a couple of years ago and she always uses it in the summer and Ollie always tries to um, take it so Darcy actually has this blue and pink one so I got Ollie this color so there can be no arguments um, they know whose is whose so I know he will really really love that they are really handy I had a bit of mixed reviews on it some people said it broke and it wasn't very good but touch wood we've literally um, got on really well with Darcy's so yeah in my opinion I highly recommend these for summertime and then last up for Ollie, I'm just going to get it all over together. I got him a bit of a selection of colouring and um, like writing. So, um, yeah, he's not really prior to, to now, hasn't really shown an interest in wanting to do crafts or writing or colouring, but he's really, really been into it. So I thought I would just kit him out with a few bits. So he's going to be moving into his new bedroom soon. And I thought we can have him like a little desk and he can have a pen pot and just keep everything really like neatly. And so he knows where all of just his stuff is rather than it getting mixed up. And then you know how it is kids arguing they've all got each other's bits so i got him just a plain writing pad because we do need to work on his writing um this has got lines so obviously it will help guide him i did get this from hen bargains i'm pretty sure it was 199 it was a little bit more expensive because it has got the um plastic cover um and the spine but i just thought rather than having a pad where i can rip pages like this will just keep it all obviously a bit neater so that's the first thing and then I did get him a pack of pencils. I think these were £1.50. They are the big ones. Um, but I went with them rather than the Home Bargains own mix. I just thought, you know, sometimes when you get pencils and they don't sharpen and lead snaps. So these are rubber ones, I think. They're shock resistant. So if they drop on the floor, the lead doesn't break through at the pencil. Um, yeah, just really funky colours that he will love. So he's got those to practice his writing. And then I thought this was really cool. So it's a, um, a razor and sharpener duo. So obviously you can keep all the sharpenings for his pencil and he's got the rubber on the end of that as well. That was only like one pound. It definitely wasn't any more than two pound. It might have been one pound 50. Um, I got him a new pack of felt. So I got these off of Amazon actually because they were the cheapest place that I could find. I'll link them below because they'll be in my purchase history. I think they were five pounds. Um, but you get 24 and I like the Crayola ones because I do find that they do last for a while. They don't dry out. So I got him those. And then to go with that, I picked him up this coloring book. Now, if you've got a football obsessed child, I think they will really love this. So again, this is from Amazon. I'll link it below. I think it was £5.50. But it's actually got... So the very front page he's going to absolutely love. Because it has got Harry Kane on it. Um, and he's obsessed with Harry Kane. So you can see it's got their name at the bottom. And then the player. And then I think that's the all the rating on their badges. So yeah, there's so many different players. You've literally... Well, that's how thick the book is. So he's going to absolutely love this one and that is everything that is in ollie's stocking this year okay and last up we have penelope's stocking so again exactly the same stocking with her name there see in a moment i kind of thought what am i supposed to put in penny's stocking because like i said she is going to be only 16 months old so i've kind of just went with what she needs um and i mean chances are she's probably not even going to open this we're going to obviously have to help her so i did get her i didn't obviously get her a selection box but she absolutely loves milky bars so i did get her a little tube of the buttons 
and then i did just pick her up a couple of packs of her little melty puffs that she loves so she loves these deliciously ella ones um carrot and parsnip is her favorite but she does also love the strawberry and banana so i thought that can go with her buttons and she'll be loving life on christmas morning with those um so next up for penny's stocking i just kitted her out with some vests for the next size up so in 18 to 24 so i did get her two packs of the long sleeved vest so i actually managed to get them in george asda um i've had such trouble again because i just like plain white for her uh it was, it's been a nightmare it's taken me ages to find them but um for three bodysuits with the long sleeves they're four pound so like i said she's got two packs of those and then I did also get her two packs of the shorter sleeved um, ones. So they look a little bit like that. Um, and they're £3.50 for three. So again, I got her that because this is going to take her into the summer months. So um, yeah, you just can't have too many of these. So she's got those to move into. And then she's also got her sluggy duggy. So she's got the kind of like pinky version. So Darcy's is purple, Ollie's is green and Penny's is pink um i did get her a couple of different bath toy options so the first one are these glow up no sorry glitter color changing duck bath lights they were three pound fifty from b and m um so when they hit water they've got like a little led light in them so yeah she will love that and then i also found this flashing bath sprinkler in b and m it was five pounds so I did get her something like this similar last year from um, Amazon, but it was about 15 pounds and it never worked, so I had to send it back. Um, so I've seen a few people share about these and I've heard good reviews so far. So obviously I'll keep you posted in my vlogs, but yeah, I just thought I'd get her a couple of different bath options because she hasn't got very many toys for the bath and these are quite easy to store away when they're not being used. Um, I also picked her up a couple of books, so she is going to be going into her own bedroom hopefully soon when our loft conversion is finally finished. So I want to do her like some bookshelves, so I've picked her up a couple of different book options. So all of these are from B&M, so this first one is a Peter Rabbit um, book, it's called Goodnight Peter. Um, it's just the kind of like hardback ones with um, like the little stories inside, I think this was one ninety nine um and then the other two are just pepper books because she loves pepper so i've got her the my mummy and me which i thought would be really sweet and then the pepper's vegetable garden um and again i think these were 150 or 199 so i just thought they're really good little presents to pop in the stocking and obviously they don't cost very much money aldi have also had some really good books in um she had those for her birthday but they've kind of got like sensory um areas on each page like they've got the felt bodies the like scratchy feet so that's another really good place to look for books um, and places like home bargains as well and then finally for penny um the only other things i could get for her that i thought of that would be really useful is another drinking cup so i got this one off of amazon um so she's got one at the moment um i forget which make it is but it's got the straw that comes up but she's only got one so i thought when that one's being washed it would be good just to have another one um and i think this was about four pound in the cell on amazon um so it's just obviously a really pretty design and it's got a lid on it which is really handy um and then obviously just the straw section there with a little spout section and then finally i just did just get her a pack of dodie so it might seem really silly obviously at some point we are going to start weaning her off of her dummies um she calls them a dodie uh but she just loves them for the time being so i'm not planning on taking them away just yet but the i really like the glow in the dark ones because at night time when it falls out it's just you just look in the cot and it's glowing at you um so with these are the bigger ones um and yeah she's got these in the smaller size but she has we've struggled moving her up to this bigger size but she's finally taken it so i thought i would just get her these they're very like neutral just like a really light pink and a clear color and they glow in the dark so just win-win for those night times because i can't tell you the amount of times at two o'clock in the morning i've been on my hands and knees searching under the cot for dodie <laughs> 
so that is going to wrap up my what's in my kids stocking video this year guys I really hope you enjoyed I hope it gave you some ideas like I said if there's anything that is like something that you put in a staple that you pop in your kids stockings please let me know in the comments because these sort of videos tend to circulate around the holiday season um, and it's just helpful for everyone we're all in this together let's all help each other out um, but don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and if you're not already I hope you'll consider hitting that subscribe button it is completely free it just uh, alerts you when I upload a video really so you don't miss an upload and I'd love to have you here as part of my growing family on YouTube but that will be it for today's video so I will see you in my next one bye everyone <laughs>